Hey guys, sorry. Um, my emergency procedure turned into full-blown surgery and I had complications, so I apologize for not leaving these videos earlier. Anyway, um, so today what we're going to do is work on graphics or text. Um, and it usually comes up under the effect control. So I don't know why that just moved. But we're going to uh, go down here to the T for text. And we're going to put it wherever you want it to start. But I'm going to show you a couple things. So I'm going to click here. And it gives you a text box. And we're just going to call it Braden River. If you go back to the selection tool, you can then move this around. You can also, under the effect control, it should say graphic right here. If you go to the word text here, you can change the font. You have to highlight it first. Sorry about that. You can change the font. You can change the size. Um, there's all the things, you know, italicize, um, bold, it could be all in small caps, uh, big caps and small caps. If I want a different color, it's here in fill. So I like the white, but I'll just show you a yellow just so you can see. I'm going to put it back to the white. And if you go here so you can see the yellow. Okay, so now you have to have your selection tool to be able to move it. All right, so now here's a couple things that you're going to learn maybe this week. Is if I am on right now, this is what they call fill, and it turned it all yellow. If I go to stroke, and I click on it and I'll do black since that's Brain River Colors. And then I click off of it. You can see there's a little black line there. If you want to make it bigger, oh, you have to have it highlighted, my fault. Um, it will give you the arrows that you can move it. So if you want to do it this way, or that way. And so now, and then if I click over here. All right, so the one thing you have got to watch is, do you see how this one and this one came up? I'm still in the type tool. So therefore, it's giving me another place to type. I need to be in the selection tool. So if you do that, go ahead and go back to the selection tool and then click on it and then hit delete. Because you don't want all those extra ones sitting out there. All right. So now a couple things. So now I'm going to just, I'm just doing Braden River for right now. You can make high school, whatever. Um, but now if you go here, you see that it is on this layer right here. If I turn this off, turn this on, so you see it's on this second video layer. If I click and hold and drag it, I can drag it the entire movie. So now when I scrub through it, it is on every one. And it is showing through because it is above that last graphic or that uh, first video track. So um, you make it as long as you want. But for me, I'm going to for right now, I'm just going to put it here. And then I'm going to go to this guy. So now this guy, when I'm here, I'm going to have to, oops, I did that again, didn't I? Um, 
I'm going to have to take my graphic here. I'm on the wrong layer. So control Z. And then make sure you're on this one. There you go. See? So now when I click on it, I can make my pirate a little smaller. So this is when you get to be a little bit creative. Um, however you want to do it. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just going to tell you that you have to have text. It has to have um, it has to you have to change the font. You have to change the size and it has to have both a fill and a stroke. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the end. I have this again, and I'm going to put another one in. So yes, you're going to have to put in two. So if I click here and on here, I'm going to say, meet me at the river. All right, and then I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to go over here to my text and see it'll say text, meet me at the river. And I want to change the font to this one. And then I'm going to change the size. And I'm going to go back to white because, like I said, I like the white better. All right. Now, if I go back to my selection tool, see, I did that again. So if I go back to my selection tool, hit the delete key. All right. So now I'm on my selection tool and I can move this up here. All right, now we're going to go back to this guy. You have to play with it a little bit. It's not always perfectly perfect. So I'm going to move this smaller. Oh, no, wrong one. Switching off the one that I want. I want this one up the right. All right, so now the reason I did this is because you're going to do one more thing when it comes to effect. And that is up here. Or down, I should say, up here. So here is we're working all in Meet Me at the River. And I just changed all of my stuff. Thing. Don't ask me why I did that, but we're going to go with it. All right, if you scroll down, this is all of the things that you can do to that. You can change the background and a shadow and whatever. So um, basically, we're going to make this rotate. We're going to make it turn around and around. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. 
So anytime you see anything like this that looks like a stopwatch, it means that you can change your video, your text, whatever you have selected. So I could change the position of it. So if I wanted it to start here and end up down here, that's what you would do in position. Scale would mean that you would start it really small and then get it really big. Um, rotation makes it turn. So that's the one we're going to work on. So if you go here and this is the air, this length represents the length of this clip as it is in here now. So we want to, my, I want the rotation to start right uh, at when it comes on. So to start it, I have to put in a keyframe, which tells the, the program that at this point we want it to do something. So if I click on the stopwatch, it comes up with a little diamond. Then I'm going to say, I'm going to go all the way to the end. Now I'll go halfway for right now so you can see. And when I go to switch this, so I'm going to make it four rotations. Um, and you can see from, it shows you a graphic from here to here, it's going to go four rotations and then it's just going to stay. So now if I scrub through my video, it will do that. So I want you to at least for this video put in a graphic of some kind that is still. It needs to have fill and it has to have a stroke. Then you need to put someplace else. It does not matter. You don't have to put it in the same place that I do. You have to put in another graphic and you have to make it rotate. If you have any problems, um, Schoology me and I will do my best to get back to you, but I will have another video for you tomorrow. Have a great day.